Now let's bring in General Mike McGuire. He's been in charge of the National Guard at the Arizona border for the last 10 years, and he joins us now. You retired literally just a week or two ago. Obvious question, General. Is this... Whose fault is this? Trump? Biden? Who? Well, good morning, Stuart. Uh, thanks for having me. I would say uh, assigning blame is a, a different problem than what we have right now. We have a major flood, a human flood coming into through the southwest border, and no one is addressing the leak. And the Biden administration, as Bush, Obama, and Trump did, need to immediately authorize the National Guard to go to the border to support Customs and Border Protection, ICE, and Immigration Services, as we have in the last three administrations, and then additionally build the wall and complete the section of the wall that is not secure in southwest Arizona. Well, that's not going to happen. I mean, I, I, look, forgive me for saying it so dramatically, but there's no way this administration is going to finish the wall. They're not going to do that. So if they don't do that, then what happens? William Lajeunesse just told us that they're, they're actually catching 2,200 illegals a day. How many are actually getting through that we don't know about? Well, you asked what happens if we don't secure the border? What if we don't yeah. have, if we have an open border? We will have less safe and secure communities. Border security is human security. In southern Arizona, there's a community of Gila Bend, has a population of about 1,000 to 1,500 local residents. Uh, just three weeks ago when I retired, um, Border Patrol was dropping off 50 family units that were cleared from the detention center a day. Imagine absorbing a community of 1,500 people, 50 people per day. Your resources are overwhelmed immediately. And as the state emergency manager, we're the ones that try to help them out. But the answer to your question, Stuart, is the fentanyl, the human trafficking, the weapons, and all of the problems that it creates in our communities will immediately go all over the country. Arizona is just the funneling point. It's not the end point. General, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, sorry to start your retirement with an, uh, with an appearance with us, but we, we do appreciate you being here. General McGuire, well, thank you, sir. See you again soon. Thank you very much, thank Stuart. You. Have a good morning.